Are you suffering from boredom? Are you struggling to sleep? Well, by the end of tonight's video, I'm hoping to help you with at least one of those problems. That's right, because in tonight's video, we are going to be exploring different websites to cure your boredom. And of course, we're going to do this all ASMR style. this I am a little bit bored so I'm hoping that these websites can entertain me a little bit whilst helping me calm down and relax a little bit before I head to sleep as you should do. So if you do enjoy tonight's video why not try out these websites for yourself and if you enjoy the websites be sure to leave a thumbs up on tonight's video it would really mean the world to me. No, before I get into these websites I know exactly what you're thinking right now. Dido, what is that awesome new chair you have? Well, my friends, this right here is the BS12 Pro by FlexiSpot, who are the sponsors of tonight's video. Before you go and try out these websites for yourself, I want you to imagine the best and most relaxing and comfortable way to sit at your desk. How do you see yourself? For me, it's in a well-built, adjustable, and ergonomic chair supporting my entire body to my own liking. And that's exactly what you get with FlexiSpot chairs. Not only are they super easy to build, but with free shipping and warranties up to 10 years, you have all the satisfaction you need when upgrading your setup. FlexiSpot is devoted to providing ergonomic solutions for healthier and working environments. With their products made from 100% recyclable materials, they receive the number one top rated standing desk by Tech Radar. That's right, they do standing desks too. I've had my FlexiSpot standing desk for over a year now and it has changed my life significantly. I can record, edit, play games all while standing up. With just the click of some buttons, I can adjust the height to whatever suits me. And one of my favorite features is the built-in USB ports, which come in handy all the time. So, to improve your office and get an ergonomic chair or standing desk, be sure to head to FlexiSpot using my link in the description down below to get incredible discounts up to 50% from August 28th through to September 1st. And it just keeps getting better because the first 10 orders at 10 a.m. BSD on the following dates will get a complete refund. You heard me right. And be sure to subscribe to have a chance at winning a BS5 and many more prizes over on their website. Big thanks again to FlexiSpot for sponsoring tonight's video. So, the first game I have for us tonight is called Guess the Year Game. And to get to this website, all you have to do is go to davjan.com, which will be linked in the description, and scroll down and click Guess the Year Game, where you have to try and guess what year the following events happened. So, I have a feeling well, this is going to be very interesting. My knowledge of history is not so great, so hopefully I don't embarrass myself, but I do know that the answers range between 1900 and 2021. So let's start the game, and I think I'm going to zoom in a little bit for the first question, which is, in what year did the following happen? The Rolex company is bounded, okay. I feel like Rolex has been around for quite a while. I think possibly pre-World War II. Um, so I'm gonna guess roughly 1927, I don't know why. I've not played this before by the way, so I could be miles off. 1905, okay. So I, it was actually pre-World War I which is interesting. Now, one thing you may notice, margin of error, 22 years. So we were 22 years out. And I had lost 
last 22 from my lives we start off with 100 lives by the looks of things my score is zero i don't know how i earn score <laughs> so let's continue okay score one so for every round i guess i get one score okay in what year was the ibm personal computer released so this is going to be much later in the 1900s I'm assuming maybe like early 90s maybe late 80s like 88 I think it's kind of around when the computer came about actually I think the computer was a little bit before that but this is the IBM personal computer so maybe actually I go about 1980 1981 let's go what a guess one year that is nuts that's really good because it means we have a higher chance at living longer i guess the tea bag is invented well that surely has to be very very old although when people made tea back in the day did they use tea bags i don't really drink tea so i must sound like an idiot saying this but I feel like this is very old. I'm gonna go like 1920, 1904, okay. Another very old one there, 16 years. Okay, I, I'll remember that fact for future pub quizzes and things. <laughs> Malcolm X dies. Oh, I have no clue. I have no clue when Malcolm X died. Um. So I'm really, really sorry. I'm just literally going to embarrass myself here. The safest thing to do is go 1963, like in between everything here. So that's just what I'm going to do. I'm sorry, everyone. Let's go. <laughs> I bet those that knew it there were like, yes, do it, I don't do it, I don't do it, I don't do it. Nice. Okay, Vladimir Lenin dies. Okay, so when did Vladimir Lenin die? Um, I don't know. I think it's I think it's late nineteen hundreds. I feel like it's like eighty six, maybe. Yep. Okay, I go from one very good round to just embarrassing myself like that. I shouldn't be allowed to play this game. I shouldn't be allowed to play this game. <laughs> so we got a score of four. Great. Very bad. It's very bad. Well, I tell you what, I would love to play more of this game, but I'm trying to do as many websites in this video as possible, so please try it this website yourself. Let me know in the comments how far you get, and uh, I'm sure you'll get further than me again. I could probably get further if I tried it more, but yeah, I feel after that very embarrassing round, I should get on to the next website. Okay, this website, this next one is a very interesting one. It's called ZDYPE. So to get to this website, you need to go to ZDY.PE. Again, I'll link it in the description. And it is by Phoboslab. And it is a typing, a typing, typing, typing website where you have to try and test your typing abilities, which I think for ASMR is absolutely perfect. Now I hope my typing isn't gonna be too loud, so I'll do my best to make it a little bit quieter, but let's start a new game, and I'll zoom in a tiny bit more for you all. But the aim of the game is to type in the words that you see before they reach this little thing down here, this spaceship, otherwise it will blow it up. So we have a forward feats and noted, noted, noted. Now I'm not the fastest of typer, so agreement, get, child. mistakes affects you when appears summer definition point alone quote what a 
does this thing here mean three? I have no clue. <laughs> um, but, uh, oh gosh, we are getting loads and loads more words. Open birds, no fix sets. It seems with each wave getting cleared, we get more words. And they even get ah, ah, faster. up for this next one. so much fun. I think the typing aspect makes a perfect trigger for ASMR. And uh, yeah, that's so much fun. I can see that being an awesome game. See, that's the kind of good. The two games we've played so far are like perfect for educational um, sort of purposes. Like in school, if you're teaching people how to type, if you give them this, surely they're going to have so much more fun. Same as the one before, if you're teaching history, just like, give them those kind of games. Um, so yeah, why not try that out yourself, compare it to my score, zdy.be in the description, let me know how you get on. This next website is so, so cool, in fact, I think I've actually played it on the channel before, I can't remember when, but it's called Quick. Draw and it's made by Google. I apologize, it doesn't have a dark mode, so I'm sorry if the screen is a little bright on your eyes. But to go to this, you just type in quick draw on Google, and um, basically it will ask you to draw pictures. And you've got to try and draw the picture as quick as you can and get Google an AI to guess what the drawing is. So Let's give it a go. Let's draw. We have to try and draw a hockey stick. That's kind of like a big stick with a little bit at the bottom and a puck. So we're going to try and draw that in under 20 seconds. There's six rounds here. And we have to try and get it to guess it as quick as possible. So let's go. We're going to have a stick come see down. We're and then club. come out. And oh, I know. Just it's hockey stick. Up. And it got it. <laughs> nice. So that was not too bad. Now we have to try and draw a radio. Okay, let's go like I see elbow. this. Four Give it a little Four antenna. Oh, there know. we it's go. Radio. Nice. However, things are getting slightly trickier now because I have to try and draw a parrot. I mean, obviously I know what a parrot is, but 
This is gonna be tough. Okay, we got the big beak. I see green bean. Go like or springboard. I, or flying I, saucer. I see glove. Or sink. Let's go up. Give or beach. Fluffy or mouse. Or campfire. I see shrub. Or mosquito. Oh, uh, I know. It's carrot. <laughs> that was such a bad parrot. I'm very, very sorry, everyone, but it still guessed it. So I must be at least okay at drawing. I'm a terrible artist. So I'm so, so glad that this next one is a snowman. So let's draw a snowman. I see circle. Or this moon. is so bad. Oh, I know. It's snowman. And that's all it took. That's really all it took. This AI is very good. And we're going back to our sort of devices. We have a TV this time, I think. If we just go square. boom, 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 I see suitcase. Boom, boom, or boom, calendar. That will oh, do. Oh, I know. It's television. <laughs> Imagine that's what your TV looked like. Oh, boy. Round six. We have to draw an apple. This is so fun. I could play this all day. Uh, and we have to do it in under 20 seconds. Okay. I feel like that's easy. We got the core. I see line. Or knee. Or animal migration. And then we have the oh, apple. I know. It's apple. We could have done the apple logo. That would have been pretty fun. But there we go. It got our neutral net figured out. Six of your doodles. Select one of it uh, to see if I figured it out. And visit the data to see the 50 million drawings. So that was our hockey stick. It also thought your drawing looked like these. So the correct match is a hockey stick. Not bad. I guess I needed more of a flick. Golf club, kind of similar. And a leg. <laughs> it does kind of look like a leg. This is what other people's drawings looked like. Yeah, I didn't want to go for this because it kind of looks like a check mark. So, uh, then we had radio. That's a really good radio there. I didn't get to draw that much in time though. Television and a sink, other radios. I mean, I was going to go under the lines of this and draw the little circles. I just didn't have enough time. So let's take a look at my parrot. Hey, do you know what? Actually, I'm kind of offended it compared it to a pig and a sleeping bag. But these parrots are amazing compared to mine. So, ah, I forgot to draw the line in the beak. Such an idiot. Snowman. I mean, snowman's a snowman. That's all I could get done in time. Teapot. <laughs> Television. Yeah, pretty much what everyone else's is gonna look like. Uh, I feel like my radio bit, the uh, not the radio, the antenna bit, was kind of misplaced and stuff. But the apple as well. You know, an apple's an apple. It's gonna look like that. So. Yeah, that was very good, and I had so much fun doing that. Try it out yourself, and let me know if you had fun playing that website. Now, if you guys watch my videos a lot, you will know that I absolutely love geography. You know, I play GeoGuessr all the time, and I'm always involved in geography kinds of videos and stuff. So, this website is called The True Size of so if you go to the true size of .com, you will be able to get this website here where you can explore different countries and compare the size of those countries to different countries so for example the united states this is what it looks like compared to africa i can move it up to different parts of the world and you can see the size of the United States compared to Russia. So if it was up at Russia, you can see it's almost like that's nuts. It's everyone makes they make Russia seem so big, but like the US is when you move it over, it's almost like half the size. Whereas over here, the United States looks like it's crazy, it looks like it's not even a, a fifth of Russia, but realistically, I mean, look at that, that is crazy. I'll pop that back, can I get rid of it? I don't know. 
um, India as well, of course, shaped like this. But if I move that up to Russia, you can see just how big it is. If we bring it down compared to like Brazil or something, it's smaller than Brazil. Um, what country is this? This is China. So China as well. If I compare it to, wow, compare China to the UK and, and Europe. Oh my, it, it dominates Europe. It pretty much covers Europe. In fact, that's almost covering the entire of Europe. It's just missing, you know, Finland, some of Russia, Turkey, Spain, Portugal, and a couple others. But yeah, that is, that is madness. That's China, which over here you would not expect whatsoever. And that's so cool. So let's type in a country. Let's go for something like... Let's do Brazil, the true size of Brazil. So if I take Brazil, can I like clear? There we go. If I take Brazil and move it up into the Atlantic Ocean, yeah, so it's already bigger. You can see it's way bigger than the United States. Well, not way bigger, but bigger. Let's move it over to Russia again. Look at that. I swear because of the curvature of the earth and the way maps are done, I'm not too sure about it all, but it makes Russia seem bigger than it is. Even though, like, obviously Russia is huge. You know, it looks bigger on maps, but if you move other countries up there, yeah, that is so cool. Let's get rid of that. Let's do the United Kingdom. So we'll grab my country, the UK, which is a pretty small country. Again, moving it to Russia, you can see it does look bigger. But as I move it more south, it looks even smaller. So if I bring it down to... We're about the same size as Madagascar. Which is nuts, because I always thought Madagascar was tiny. Let's take us over to Brazil, you can see we're, we're nothing compared to Brazil or even Peru. We're, we're about the same size as Paraguay. England is like Uruguay. Uh, let's put us next to the United States. Imagine we were just like off the coast of the US, like off the side. We'd be like just a little island for them. Wouldn't we? We'd be like almost like Cuba is, but slightly larger. <laughs> it's so cool. Let's grab the Dominican Republic. Not the Dominican, let's grab the Democratic Republic of Congo. You know, a nice big Central African country. A nice good square-shaped one. Compare it to Australia. You know, it makes up it's, it's bigger than Western Australia. Bigger than Queensland. Bigger than the Northern and Southern uh, Australia. If we compare it to China, you know, it's China's still bigger. Bring it up to Russia. <gasps> Look at that. I don't actually fully understand that. That makes no sense. Right, you know, we gotta try. We gotta try grabbing Russia and moving Russia down. What? So you're telling me Russia is all a lie? <laughs> I mean, it's not because it's still huge, but like, it's Australia is half the size of Russia. Let's move Australia up to Russia. Oh my goodness, that is absurd. Can someone explain to me how maps work, please? Because I just don't get that. That is crazy. That is crazy. I love this website. Be sure to try it out. The true size of... And let me know if you have fun playing it. And last but not least, the final website. I thought we'd have a bit of fun on 
is something that I am super, super fascinated by, and that is the sea, the oceans of our world. And you can get to this website by going to neil.fun, as you can see up the top here. And if you scroll down and click the deep sea, there we go. Now this basically shows us how deep our ocean really is, which is a lot deeper than you all may believe. In fact, the deepest part of our ocean is called the Mariana Trench. And we should get into that as we scroll down. So as we go down, you'll see the bar that shows how deep we are. So you can see salmon go about two meters, the manatee, you get coral at about 12 meters, the polar bear can swim as deep as 26 meters, clownfish down at 30, blue tang, which is dory, and of course Nemo at about 46. So these are all the fish at the moment, which is, you know, not too strange. Leafy sea dragon at 50. We have the beluga whale, which goes down to about 80 meters. And as we go deeper, we get the killer whale, which can go up to 100 meters. That's where you often find them anyways. And this is where we go deeper, where you get stingrays and sea lions, which is quite interesting. The bull shark at 150. Now, we are only just getting started, guys. Look at this. As I scroll down, we get to the twilight zone, which is kind of, you know, 200 meters, which is where things get even creepier. Chain cat shark. The terrible claw lobster. The great white shark can go as deep as 270. I love sharks, by the way. Bottlenose dolphin. The cockatoo squid. Gummy shark at 300. And then at 332 meters, this is the deepest any human has ever scuba dived. Set by Ahmed Gabor in 2014. You have the blue shark. Look how dark it's getting now. There's almost no sunlight getting down to where the big eye tuna goes. And then we have the sea angel. More salmon. The mako shark. The emperor penguin. As deep as 500. That's pretty crazy. Nautilus. Sunfish. Fun sunfish. Sorry. I'm thinking of the Pokemon Stunfisk. Um, wow, Japanese spider crab. It's the largest known crab. And as we keep going, let's see some big things that stick out. The giant Pacific octopus. Giant oarfish. We still haven't seen the blue whale yet. And there's the sperm whale. Leatherback sea turtle at almost 1,000, which is where we get the Baird's Beak beaked whale. And we enter the midnight zone where no sunlight is able to reach this deep. Many deep sea creatures cope by creating light, light themselves, also known as bioluminescence. <laughs> so we have the angler fish. Fish. Why do I keep struggling to say fish? Uh, the orange ruffy which can live up to 200 years. Venus flytrap, the blobfish, of course. <laughs> the frilled shark. We're going deeper and deeper. Goblin sharks. Now, honestly, I could go on for ages. Look at this. Look how deep it goes. This is the ocean. Look at that. The colossal squid at 2,000. I feel like we should just pick a random point. Did I see blue whale there? Nope. This is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Much deeper, much deeper. <laughs> the wreckage of the Titanic at 3,800. The abyssal zone. And if we go to the very bottom, I believe. 
Oh, wow. Wait, what is this? Can I go back up and find out what this is? Two men. Oh, yes. Two men, Jacques Picard and Don Walsh, on board the submarine trees slowly descended into the Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the ocean. Their goal was to reach the Challenger Deep, the deepest point on, in the ocean. And as you scroll down, the submarine used a rebreather system that would later be used in spacecraft. And as you go deeper and deeper, you'll find out that they did indeed succeed in getting to the deepest point in the ocean, the Challenger Deep. They succeeded and became the first humans to reach the deepest point in the ocean, which is just crazy. It's insane how deep the ocean is. And I could spend so much time looking at all the fish and how far they get and things like that. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on everything there. And I just think it's absolutely incredible. Well, everybody, that is going to wrap up tonight's video. I hope you were able to, or I was able to, cure your boredom and you were able to fall asleep. In which case, I hope that at least one of them was able to happen tonight. And if so, let me know by dropping the video a big thumbs up. Please do try these websites for yourself. All will be linked down below. Let me know how you get on with them and let me know if you'd like to see a part two to this style of video. And again, I want to say a huge thanks to FlexiSpot for sponsoring tonight's video. Be sure to use my link at the top of the description to get incredible discounts up to 50% across their website and get awesome chairs like this here, the B12 Pro and standing desks, which I'm sat at right now um, from August 28th through to the September 1st. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching tonight's video and I'll see you all in the next video. Good night.